Number six. The perimeter of triangle ABC shown on the right is blank, rounded to the nearest tenth. So we have this triangle graphed on the coordinate plane, and we just need to find the perimeter. So in my opinion, the easiest way to do this is just to find the, all three side lengths and then add them up. So let's find the coordinates of each of these. So coordinate A is at negative 6, negative 4. Coordinate B is at negative 2 and 8. And then C is at 6, negative 8. So we can just use distance formula on each of these and add them together, and that'll give us the perimeter. So from A to B, we use the distance formula. The distance is equal to the square root of the change in x squared plus the change in y squared. And this comes right out of the Pythagorean theorem. If you don't recognize it, that's right out of the Pythagorean theorem. There's like tons of videos online about that, so I won't go into it right now. But this is the formula. So if I'm going from A to B, so the distance from A to B, my change in x from negative 6 to negative 2, that's 4, squared is 16. And then my change in y from negative 4 to 8, that's 12, squared is 144. And then I'll, I'll simplify this later. And so my distance from B to C then, let's see, my change in x is from negative 2 to 6, so that's 8 squared is 64. My change in y from 8 to negative 8 is 16, squared is 256. And then my last side, from c to a, see my change in x, from negative 6 to 6, that's 12, squared is 144. And then um, my change in y from negative 4 to negative 8, that's 4, squared is 16. So I'm just going to type all this into the calculator, and this should give us a decimal number to the nearest tenth. So our first one is square root of 16 plus 144 plus the square root of 64 plus 256 plus the square root of 144 plus 16. And altogether that gives us 43.2 round to the nearest tenth, I believe that's what it wanted. 43.2, yes, that's answer choice C. All right, so if you have any questions from other tests, make sure to leave a comment, and I'll make a video with a solution. With that said, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.